It is a fast-paced sun heated. On day four of the Rio Paralympic Games. Cabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro, always bustling with activity, but busier than usual today as the best para triathletes in the world were competing for medals along its shores on day four of the 2016 Paralympic Games. And here inside our Stanford, Connecticut studio, I'm Carolyn Mano. We have got three hours of coverage ahead with several of Team USA's biggest stars headlining, including Jessica Long, who dives into the pool once again. Our triathlon, which made its Paralympic debut earlier today. So the sport includes events for several different classifications. Four are for athletes with physical disabilities, which range in type and severity from double amputees to those with severe neurological conditions such as cerebral palsy. And among those competing was retired U.S. Army officer Melissa Stockwell. Stockwell is one of 35 veterans or active duty military members on the U.S. team in Rio. And today, on the 15th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attack, she took a moment before competition to post something. And Stockwell said, today I race for those that gave the ultimate sacrifice and make our country so great. Every swim stroke, bike pedal, and run stride, this race is for you. Hashtag never forget. A Bronze Star and Purple Heart recipient, Stockwell has long been a trailblazer, achieving many firsts in her life, some happy and some heartbreaking. In April of 2004, she became the first female American soldier to lose a limb in active combat. And four years later, as a swimmer at the Beijing Games, she became the first Iraq War veteran to compete at the Paralympics. And all of that led Stockwell to who she is today, a contender for one of the first Paralympic medals in paratriathlon. I mean, I got a pretty cool paint job on it. I could show that up. I wanted to be in the Army because I love our country. <laughs> so I did ROTC in college, and I just really fell in love with it. I was deployed over to Iraq in 2004. And a short three weeks later, on April 13th, 2004, I was on a routine convoy through central Baghdad, and the vehicle I was riding in was Struck by a roadside bomb, which resulted in the loss of my left leg um, above the knee. After I lost my leg, I did swimming as a form of rehab. And then learning of the U.S. Paralympics a few months after that, um, it was just an automatic dream. It was something that I wanted to make happen. It wasn't until trials in 2008 when I made the team that I honestly knew it could be a reality. I went to the 2008 Paralympics in Beijing and I swam there. Athletically, my performance is not what I wanted it to be. I didn't have best times, I didn't make finals, and you know, I was not on the podium. I came home with a participation medal. In 2009, I was invited to do a triathlon and I was a decent swimmer. I was starting to run, so I thought, well, why not throw a bike in there and swim, bike, and run? So I gave it a shot and was hooked right away. With a prosthetic, I have a sport-specific biking and a sport-specific running leg. And if I don't get my leg on and off fast enough, then I could lose the race. So you practice getting your leg on and off as quick as you can. It's definitely like the fourth discipline of triathlon is the transition part. Rio is a culmination of taking a challenge head on, of perseverance, of athleticism. I want to prove to myself that losing a leg isn't stopping me from anything I want to do. I've gone 24 years of my life with both of my legs, but, you know, looking back 11 years, I've done more than I ever imagined. Stockwell was one of several strong American contenders in paratriathlon today. And for more on that, here's our reporter, Heather Cox. Welcome to Copacabana Beach, the site of the women's triathlon. Today we keep our eye on three Americans in the PT2 classification, Alyssa Seeley, Melissa Stockwell, and Haley Denisevich. They are one, two, three in Paralympic rankings. Alyssa Seeley is a two-time world champion, ranked number one in the world. Melissa Stockwell is a two-time Paralympian. The 2016 Paralympics. And having competed in the swimming competition in Beijing. And Haley Denisevich was the first U.S. athlete to qualify for this triathlon by winning the test event here in Rio. Today marks the first time triathlon's been in the Paralympics. These three American women hoping to get on the podium. 
Sure, thank you. So the PT4 classification... The women's PT2 classification got underway with eight entrants from six nations facing the starter. Among them are trio of medal contenders from the United States, including world champion Elisa Seely. The water temperature gauged at approximately 21 degrees Celsius. The swim once again was staged over 750 meters, and it was Melissa Stockwell from the United States who got off to the best start. The 26-year-old 2012 world champion found the conditions to her liking as she clocked 12 minutes and 5 seconds for the swim. Japan's Yukako Hata was second out of the water, 28 seconds behind Stockwell, and Seely was third, just eight seconds behind Hata. A swift transition by Seely saw her move ahead of the Japanese athlete going into the bike leg. She's also in transition, ripping that wetsuit off. There goes Melissa Stockwell from the USA. Alyssa Seely is in the colocação. A Mateo Uyarte da Espanha na sexta. The third of the Americans, Haley Danisevich, was fifth out of the swim, but her strength was the bike leg, and she was soon moving swiftly through the field, passing Seely and Stockwell on lap two. By the time she had completed her fourth lap, she was the race leader. It was shaping up for an American trifecta with the United States 1, 2 and 3 going into the run leg. A quick transition from Elisa Seeley put her second with every chance for a late charge at gold as she took off for that final 5 kilometer run. Seely was a woman on a mission, keen to add Paralympic gold to a world title won in Rotterdam earlier this year. Behind her, Danisevich and Stockwell were now in a fight for the silver medal. For Seely, it was all about gold. She clocked 24 minutes and 13 seconds, a minute and 21 seconds faster than anyone else on the run, for a combined total of 1 hour, 22 minutes and 55 seconds. In second place, Haley Danisevich from the United States and the bronze medal, completing the US domination with Melissa Stockwell in third. US. And Stockwell took bronze, the US dominating the event. A wonderful... moment Heather Cox caught up with the medalist right afterwards. USA! USA! A clean sweep of the podium for the United States. The Americans sweep the podium, gold, silver and bronze. Congratulations to all of you. Now Alyssa, you have been on quite an incredible journey, but just how significant is it to know that your name will now forever be in the record books as the one that won gold in the first Paralympic triathlon? Oh my God, it's amazing. It's been a crazy four years of hard work, ups and downs, and to finish at the top, to finish at the top of the podium with our national anthem being played, with my two teammates standing next to me, it's gonna be the most amazing feeling I've ever had. And Alyssa, you dominated the run. How did you create so much separation in that final leg? Um, I knew coming off the bike that I had a lot of work to do. Um, I'm a runner at heart. It is my strength, it's my soul, and I just put my head down and I gave it everything I had. When it hurt, I pushed harder, and I never, when I passed her, I expected her to stay right with me, and so I just kept pushing. And I'm so, so incredibly excited with how well that went. And now time to recover, because you run the 200 tomorrow morning. Now, Haley, a podium sweep, as we mentioned, for the Americans. How did being surrounded by your teammates fuel you in this race? Oh my gosh, you know, this was, by far the most exciting race that I've ever been a part of. Like, coming right out of the swim, all three of us were kind of right there, and it stayed that way for the rest of the race. Um, I mean, there's no two other people in the world that I would rather share this journey with than these two right here. Um, and I just can't wait to stand on the podium with them. And Melissa, certainly, you know, a very special day that's so much more about winning a medal. Uh, what does it mean to you to be competing on this day, 9-11, in this event? Um, it's... <laughs> it's um, 
I mean, to be on the race course wearing a USA uniform with my teammates on a day that changed the world and to come across the finish line, my goal was to be on the podium and with these two ladies, and it happened. <laughs> I mean, dreams come true today. This moment is one of the best in my life. I am so, so thrilled. I'm so excited and just a testament to <laughs> America, what we have to, what we can do. I mean, we are, we're the top three in the world. Congratulations, enjoy every second of it. This Thank is you. for you, America. USA! Woo! USA! <laughs> Woo! Gives you chills. A decorated day for the U.S. at Copacabana Beach as the Americans take home a total of four medals in women's paratriathlon. When we return, we're going to have medals on the line in track and field, so stay with us. We're coming back right after this. Happiness folks right there. Yeah. 